guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Zach, and in today's video, we're gonna be getting some new fish, Australian native freshwater fish in my dam. So I'm gonna show you guys the process of ordering and putting them in your dam. So I hope you guys enjoy it, thanks. guys so I just got my shipment of um, my fish so I'm just gonna start floating them so that you cut they come in like a little polystyrene box pretty good so I'm gonna start floating them now explain to you the process of what I had to do to get the fish from the cellar to here yeah let's start it unpack the box here let the fish start floating and then I'll talk to you about the process Okay, so when you get your little box, comes in a big bag, and as you can see here, I've ordered a hundred silver perch. They look pretty good, all healthy, kicking around. So I'm just gonna float this bag, and let's get into the process of doing it. Now the bag's floating in the dam, so let's talk about the process of ordering these Australian native fish. The fish are just in the water now, just acclimating to the temperature of the dam. I probably order fish maybe once or, yeah, once every three years, just to keep the stock up in the dam. But yeah, I usually uh, put fish in my dam just after a big rain, and when the water's all full, I'll just add a couple more in and do that every every couple of years. Just a tip when you're putting your fish in, just put them in like a shady spot, kind of shallow, so you know they won't float away and they're not getting, not exposed to the full sunlight. So that little spot just down there is pretty good. Okay, so what I needed to do to order fish, um, I ordered these online from a, an Australian uh, fish supplier. And what I did is just I purchased a uh, hundred silver perch. Um, he didn't have any Australian bass at the time, but I'll order 100 bass uh, in a couple of weeks when he has some babies. Uh, so yeah, what do you do? You request how many fish you'd like, um, depending on how big your dam is, will depend how many fish you're allowed in. It. The next step you will need to do is to uh, get in contact with the supplier, see if he can deliver it to you, because I got my fish delivered to me. Yeah, make sure you can do that, otherwise you'll have to find other places where you can get your fish delivered. Also, uh, work out if they do deliver, otherwise you'll have to drive all the way up to their place. So, yeah, make sure you, you read about the company before you actually purchase your fish. So the next thing is uh, once all the payments and the guy you are uh, uh, contacting with um, has approved um, the fish numbers and the payment, he'll start uh, collecting all the fish, which may take about a week or so. What he'll do is he'll uh, scoop up all the fish, count them all, and he'll put them in a very large uh, plastic bag where he'll fill up with air so, it, so the fish will have a good supply of air throughout the travel. They'll also put it in a polystyrene box for safe travels, keep them cool and just to protect them a bit more. So he'll uh, put them in a delivery truck and that truck will, depending on your location, it might stop at a couple of stops or it might just do direct postage to your place. So you need to consider this. The supplier will tell you um, a good day to deliver just in case there could be a storm coming in, coming, or it could be a really hot day. Best to order them in the afternoon when the, the sun's not as uh, damaging. So I got mine at about 4.30ish, so the sun's getting down now. When the uh, delivery truck arrives to your place, what you need to do is grab your bag, grab your box, and then you head down to your dam. Try and find a little shady spot that you can put, that you can float your bag in, and just check on them, see how they're all right. Yeah, it's pretty simple to order fish, really. You just got to do a bit of research and see how big your dam is. If you guys are from Australia and you want some fish species that can go together, with Australian bass and silver perch are really good, really good mates. They can get along quite well, especially uh, golden perch, yellow belly. They're good in here too, so yeah, let's do a bit of research and because it's a dam they can't move so it'll be very territorial so just find what fish species work well in dams so yeah that's a little process you've got to go through to 
do your fish. But yeah, it's good to restock your dam because I've noticed in my dam lately a lot of numbers have been dropping. Don't know why, but good time to restock it. So silver silver perch here, and then a couple of weeks time uh, got the Australian bass. So just a couple of minutes more, and then. I'll show you guys the release of all 100 silver perch, so stay tuned for that. It's good the um, fish come in a double bag, extra protection. 